the Murchielago, Mura, Diablo, fighting bulls that left an indelible mark on our history. Today, a distant memory. Their legacy continues with this, the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, one of the few bulls left, it's small in stature, yet big in heart. A fearsome package of extreme power and theatrical design. Or at least, that's the theory. But the reality is that the Hurricane is just a bit meh compared to the old guard. Don't get me wrong, it's fast and it looks brilliant. But when you share your platform and your oily bits with a fancy Audi, and all of that power gets castrated by a safest houses all-wheel drive system, well then the end result is just a bit meh. Lamborghinis of old not only looked like alien spaceships, they drove like they were trying to kill you. So has the new Evo lost that fear factor that made its forefathers so great? Nope, that might be the case if this was the old Hurricane, but this ain't the old Hurricane. This is the brand new Lambo Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive. This thing takes us back to what Lambos are all about. It's designed to be scary. It's got all the ingredients to be a proper classic Lambo. 600 horsepower, tick. Big, scary 5.2 litre mid-mounted engine, tick. Stupid paint job, tick. And then the big one, rear wheel drive. Tick, tick, boom. And it's the big one because that's what transforms this Lambo from a car that any joker can drive into a monster that if you're not careful, will send you backwards through a hedge on fire. The old Hurricane had grip and traction for days. It was basically idiot proof. You could throw it into a corner and it would do one of two things, either understeer into a bush or more likely it would grip up and then fire itself out like a laser guided missile. Driving the Evo rear wheel drive is a bit like blowing up a balloon, letting it go and then trying to catch it again. You've got to be quick. You've got to treat it with respect. It still has grip and traction, loads of it to be fair, but you've just got to be so alive to its every little movement because it is a proper animal. In the old car, if you got it wrong, you wouldn't even know about it because the four wheel drive system would sort everything out. In this car, if you get it wrong, you still won't know about it, but that's because you'll be dead. So there's a newfound sense of theater to the way it drives. It's fast, fun, but does the Hurricane Evo have enough theatre in the way that it looks? The design is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? You don't really get a sense of just how cool the Hurricane is until you stood up close right next to it, but it really is silly, in a good way. But it's the little details that tip it over into the realms of absurdity. There's not a single curve on this car, apart from maybe the wheel arch, everything else Looks like it was designed with a ruler or sculpted with a samurai sword. Even the brake discs. Most cars have a brake disc. This has a brake dodecahedron. I'm sure Lamborghini will tell you that there's some engineering benefits of that, but nah, nonsense. That, that's just there because it looks cool. And then inside, lovely. These switches for your windows, your nose lift and your hazard lights are straight out of a fighter jet. Lovely. Then. This cover for your engine start button looks like the trigger for some kind of device that could start World War III. And then you've got this alien looking reverse lever that for some reason looks like that. I mean, they could have gone with a button, but instead they've gone for this. Love it. What I'm not sure that I should love are these really ridiculous switches for your wipers. Look at that, you push it left to turn them on, right to turn them off, and then you've got a separate button for your washer fluid. And then the indicator is another switch. You push it left to go left, right to go right, and then push down to cancel. Imagine trying to use that with the wheel upside down on a roundabout. It would be absolute carnage. That is the dumbest, most Lamborghini thing in the world. And I love it. 
It's not all mad though. There's a few sensible touches inside this car. There's a couple of USB ports on the rear firewall. There's Apple CarPlay, there's Alexa for voice control, and everything is controlled through this delicious looking 10 inch screen. Although the user interface is a little bit too Lambo for my liking. And don't get me started on the lack of a volume knob. So the Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive does have some useful mod cons even if some have been designed in true Lamborghini style to infuriate. But is it a car you can drive every day without risking your life? Right, so what does it feel like? Properly awesome. The steering isn't as hyperactive as I thought it might be. It's quite neutral when it's near the dead center, but it's actually really quick. Once you go past a certain amount, it's really lively, really sharp. Not brimming with feel, but it gives you enough confidence to throw it into a bend and you know exactly how much grip is there on the exit. Brakes, really, really strong. They're not carbon ceramic, these are steel, but they still do a fantastic job. The chassis balance, I've got to say, is the highlight for me. All right, it's got outrageous power and it will throw shapes, but if you're quick enough, you can catch it. It's got a few different driving modes. There's an anima switch right here on the bottom of the steering wheel, which gives you three different modes to choose from. There's strada, which is Italian for street. Then there's sport, which is Italian for sport. And then there's corsa, which is Italian for... I've got a big, massive pair of... modes are completely different. In Strada, the car's a complete pussycat. The adaptive suspension is soft, the throttle response is progressive, and the steering is light. It's a nice everyday mode. In Sport, it firms up the suspension, makes the steering quicker, just turns everything up to 11. And then Corsa basically turns it into a racing car. The problem is, there is no perfect mode. Strada is too soft. Sport is too hard. In Corsa, well, I don't think I've got appendages big enough for Corsa. And you can't customize it. You have to live with what the Lambo wants to do at any given moment. It's in Sport and Strada where you make the most of that naturally aspirated V10 engine. The same unit used in the Hurricane Porfamante. Except here, it's tuned to deliver 602 brake horsepower instead of 631. But it's still a free revving peach of a thing that runs to an 8,000 RPM crescendo with every last RPM sounding more sweet than the last. In a turbocharged car, the fun's over by three, 4,000 RPM. In this thing, the party doesn't get started till five grand. And the gearbox is an absolute dream. Seven speed, dual clutch, super responsive on the upshift, fast on the downshift. It's even got a kick down mode. So if you find yourself in seventh gear and you suddenly want to be in say third, you don't have to slap it multiple times to get where you want. You just hold it and look at this, seventh to second and I'm gone. So, this is a Lambo that finally feels like a Lambo should, that channels the spirit of classic Lamborghinis. But in doing so, it still remains as modern and capable as any Audi. This is a car you can push to its absolute limits one minute, yet take to the local shops the next on a journey to buy your essentials. This is a car that will let you hit upwards of 200 miles an hour in a matter of seconds, yet the next will happily allow you to cruise around in traffic without a fuss. It's a car that looks exotic and delicate, yet because of its reliable, proven underpinnings, adaptability and innate toughness, is just as happy conquering an epic B-road as it is fording a river. With the Evo rear-wheel drive, they've created a Lamborghini that pays true homage to the models that came before it. It's a car you'll want to be seen in, yes, but also one you'll genuinely enjoy driving, every day and in every situation. The Hurricane Evo rear-wheel drive is a dinosaur, but in a good way. It's a throwback to when supercars were super. Fast, yes, pretty, of course, but also involving, rewarding, and also a little bit scary. 
The memory of the Murcielago, Mura, and Diablo is a distant one, one I thought we may never see again. But in the Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive, we have a present day supercar that looks to the future without ignoring its illustrious past.